Welcome back into the gym with us today. We've got another tough one for you. It's going to be the power workout. Again, girls, don't get scared by that word power. A lot of my female clients were always afraid to pick up the weights, thinking it was going to get them too big, too bulky, or build their muscles up too big. It's not the case. Remember, lower weights, higher reps is going to get you into that fat burning zone, as well as tightening up the muscles. We're going to be doing shoulders and back and core, which is the base of what we do in here. Muscle confusion, power moves, and multi-muscle movements. Now that being said, some of these moves might feel a little weird, a little clunky with you at first. So take some time to learn them. It will come with time. You will feel confident with these moves if you keep practicing and keep going at it. I'm going to take some breaks in the moves today to show you different ways to do them. Uh, using the bands, maybe lighter weights, maybe a different modification to them. If you know what you're doing, don't stop with me. Just keep right on going and get your workout in. Alright, so we're going to do the interval timer today as well as some, some numbered moves. So if you got an interval timer, get it out, otherwise get one on your app or just follow the video along with us and pause it if you need to. The warm up is going to be one minute burst, five moves in the warm up, and let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to start with dumbbell deadlift. So if you got dumbbells, great, if not, just grab some sort of weight to use to stretch your back here. We're going to do one minute burst with no breaks in between, and again it is a warm up. So take your time, get your body nice and loose before we get started into some of these hard moves. So here we go, one minute starts now. So you're going to grab your weights, stand about shoulder width apart, feet facing forward, the weights just hang dead, and you're going to lean forward, stretch down, just like you're doing a toe touch stretch here. And come back up, and extend. Now, you want to keep a nice flat back, chest forward as I go down, knees stay locked out. Weights don't do anything other than assist me to the ground, and I'm here. Now, from the side, if I have to round my back, then that's as far as I go. So keep your back straight, down, and back up. I'm trying to let the lower back do the work here, nice and easy. Stretch out those hamstrings and that lower back. Into the next move here, it's going to be sailor push ups for one minute. I don't expect you to do sailor push ups for a minute. This is a tough move, so get some in, stretch it out, and get a couple more reps in. Widen your base, feet a little closer to your hands than the normal push ups. Go under the fence and back under. So I'm under, and I'm back under. Now I push back that way, back under, and push back. If this is too tough for you at first, I go under the fence. And then just start over, right back into the starting position. If you feel a little warm, you don't want to go to max rep in the warm up. Stretch it out. Warming up those muscles, so we want to stretch them, and then get a couple more sets in. One minute's up. Alright, we're going to go to power-ups. This is a plyometric move. It's also like the bottom part of a burpee, so it's starting and I finish right here. I'm going to kick out, dip a little bit into the ground, and try to push so hard that I can kick my feet right where my hands are. Power move. Explode out of this. Here, a little push. Generating a lot of power from your chest to push, also using the core to try to tuck those legs under there. Again, you don't want to go to max on the warm up, just getting the body going here. Alright, we go right into lightweight butterflies. So I want you to grab a really lightweight or the bands. Arms stay straight. 
Start with the hands in front and just raise them just about to ear level. Can't grab real heavy weights on these guys because if your arms bend or sag, you're not getting the move. Straight arm, light weight. Okay, good. Next move. Upright rows. Again, lighter weight here to warm up with. Take the dumbbells, put them in the front. You're going to lead with your elbows and you're going to keep the weight real tight to the body. It's just like you're grabbing your waistband and pulling it up to your chin. That's the move right here. Stand tall, pull up, elbows high. Again, if you're going too heavy weights, you're going to crunch your shoulders and slops. I don't want that. Chest forward, weights up. And down. These are going to help you when we get into cleans, clean and press, and some of the other moves. This is the start of the move right here. First five moves. That's going to do the warm up. Again, this is a great time. Pause the video, do a stretch, go watch the stretch video, whatever you need to do. Otherwise, we're going to get right into the moves just for time here. We've got three blocks today that are 50 10. So 50 seconds hard, 10 second break, five moves. So they're five minute blocks. Those are going to be followed by a couple numbered moves. So we're going to get started here. Start off with the goblet squat. All you need is one resistance here. You can have two dumbbells if you want, or just use the one, or kettlebell, or whatever you're using for your resistance. All right, here we go. 50 seconds starts now. So you're going to take the weight right up next to the chest, tuck the elbows in, let your arms hold the weight. I'm not leaning in on the chest, my arms hold the weight. Squat position, and then you're just going to go down and up. Now, depending on how much weight you have and what you're doing, this weight's going to want to pull you forward. Fight that position, keep your back straight, your chest up, down and up. Again, if you feel your form starting to go, take that break. Quality over quantity. Okay, 10 second break here. Now the next move that we're going to get into is one of these multi-muscle moves. Tough one to master. We're just doing a clean here, so you're going to start together. You're going to do that upright row. You're going to pull up. When you get to here, I want you to step open and flip the weights under. Squat. Stand up together. So full motion, it looks like this. Dip a little, pull up to my chin, flip it over, and that's the end of it. Guys, if you're good at this, grab heavy weights here. But make sure that you're keeping the weight close to the body. We're not flipping it over here. It's not the move. I pull straight up, over, down. Pull strong right here, explode. And down. If you want to alternate feet, that's fine. Step up with this one. Make your steps. You do a squat stance. I'm not stepping back, I'm not stepping out here, I'm not just doing a little step. Step into your squat position, alright? Next one, scout with a step lunge. Same thing, grab the weight out in front of the body. Step out, down, push back strong. 
Don't let this weight pull you forward. Keep that good posture. Alternate. seconds isn't too long here so I want you really pushing it. Grab that weight, push them out. I take lots of breaks to teach and I want you stopping with me if you know what you're doing. Keep driving. Good, we're going to go clean and press now. So nothing changes with what we just did, the cleans. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to press as we step together. So same thing, practice your move. Down, pull up to the chin, flip it over, and step. Now, right here, I stand and press, and reset. Pull strong, squat, stand and press. Pull strong, and get a good rhythm here. Now as you get tired and the weights are above your head, be careful. I don't take them from here right to here. That's when you're going to hurt yourself. You're here, shoulders, and then down. short little break here. We're going to go into two numbered moves. So two numbered moves here. Take a second, catch your breath, stretch out anything that feels tight. Make sure you're moving, drink your water. First move we're going to do is the thruster. This is a great core workout as well as shoulders and legs. So you're going to be in a position like the goblet squat. Grab two weights, hold them out in front. We're going to do ten of these. I'm going to get started doing at your own pace here. Again, guys, if you've got heavy weights, do two sets of five if you have to, if you're doing heavy, heavy weights. Girls, knock out all ten at once, then right into the next move. Weights out in front, nice 90 degrees with my arms. I'm not resting them on my shoulders. I'm going to squat down, touch my elbows to my thighs. I'm going to stand from the low position. So I'm here, elbows to thighs right here. Now I start pressing these weights from right here. I stand and press at the same time. One, two, use that core, drive those hips forward, three, four, power, five, power, six, seven, eight, breathe, nine, ten, oh, that's a great move, tough. Next move is going to be core ball, wide press. So if you got a core ball, great. If not, just find a seat. You can do these on the floor if you have to. The core ball just adds an extra element of balance and stability. And again, if my feet are close together, I'm a lot less stable. Wider base, more stable. You can play with it wherever you want. Put them right here. We're going to do wide press. So instead of a military press, which is straight up and down, I'm basically going to be doing the first part of the YMCA, but with dumbbells. So we're here, keep your chest forward, core tight, press out. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you don't want to do too heavy on those weights because you're putting it out and away from the body. It puts a lot of stress on the joints and the ligaments here. So be smart with these. You can do some decent weights, but don't hold that weight out there for a long period of time. All right, we're going to go back into another block, 50-10 style. So hopefully you've got your sheet out in front of you so you know what we're doing next. You can get your weights prepared. When I'm doing my workouts, I like to look through the next move and get an idea of what weights I'm going to grab. That way in that 10 seconds, I get right to it. I already know what I'm going to use. So we're going to start with motorcycles. 50 second burst, here we go. Light weights on this. Form is by far more important than anything else on these moves. So I'm out here in front, 90 degrees of playing arms. Now I'm just going to rotate my elbows up to here. Looks like I'm riding a motorcycle. Now I'm not back here. It's not a T-Rex move with stubby arms. Out front, that's where the light weight comes in. And then I power them up. Yeah, these are 15s, and these are almost too much. Started to feel my form get sloppy, drop the weights. I'm gonna work the traps. Now guys, you're not having heavy weights here, so you think you're not building, you are. This is a great trap move, deltoid move. Good, we're gonna go into battle of rows. Get your dumbbells. Put them down. Now I like to split my step here, bend over, nice 90 degrees. You can be here as well. Keep the back flat. Now it's just like you're grabbing a bar, pulling it up to your chest. Reverse bench press here. So I'm here, up. I slam those shoulder blades together behind me, and my elbows are nice and parallel with the wall. So I'm here, up. Push that chest forward and drive those weights up. Work that shoulder blades, work that back. Now I don't want, you're not kipping, you're not creating momentum. Back's flat here, and I pull with just my arms, right there. Good. You'll be in the same position, so come up here, give your back a break, stretch it out. Same position, but set it straight up. We're going to go fly, so it's like a reverse chest fly. Same concept. Right across the chest line here, trying to get that shoulder blade to slam together. Chest forward, eyes up. yourself starting to come up or having to get some momentum to get the weights up, take a break. These are tough moves, tough to stay in position. Good, come out of it. We're going to be down in that position one more time. Just let that lower back take a break. Again, girls, I can't stress enough, you're not going to get big and bulky if you're picking the right weights. Bend over locomotives. So, alternating arms. Pull, pull. Nice and controlled. So I'm not all over the place. Nice and static. Pull, pull, pull. When it starts to burn, try to get another one or two reps in before you take that break. Keep your form good. Whew. All right, last move for the core. Recognize these moves from the tough 100. We've got floor wipers, or pulse-ups, sorry. So feet go up, push the weight to your toes.
second block done. We've only got one more block. We're going to do two moves in between though. First move is going to be 10 heavy pants. We've done these before. So just a couple quick pointers before we get started. Again, take your break. Recover a little bit. I don't want you taking too long here. Get your weight set up. We're going to get started here in a minute. Catch your breath. Stretch it out. Okay, so we're going to be down in the low position. Again, I like to split my stance. It's just a lot more comfortable for me. But you can also be here. Perfectly fine. I'm going to grab those weights, stay low, you're going to pull them up to your hips. Just like you're putting your pants on but without standing up. You're going to do 10 of these. The elbows do the work here. So get down, grab the weights, pull them up, elbows tight to the body and elbows high. Here we go. Pull back to your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like with any other move, if you feel yourself coming up, take your break. Now, we've got 20 standing side crunch. I'm going to grab a plate, you can grab a dumbbell, the kettlebell, core ball, doesn't matter. So you're going to grab something with both hands, right up above the body. Now I'm going to do like a Spider-Man push-up, but standing. So elbows to knees. It takes balance and core here. So I'm here. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to meet in the middle. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great for the bleeds, great for the core. Okay, got this last block to do, we're going to get this thing finished up. So you just did the 20 standing side crunch, got a little water, now we're going to do five more moves here. These are going to be lighter weight moves, going to burn out the shoulders, they're already probably burnt by now. So grab some light weights, we're going to do weighted arm circles. Alright, 50 seconds, here we go. So arms straight out, little circles. Not going to need very much weight for these, if any at all. Be good. Again, you should be burnt by now. If you're not tired, a little beat up, you're not pushing yourself hard enough, you're not grabbing the right weights. These videos aren't terribly long for right now, so make sure you're really, really pushing yourselves. I know the moves are a little awkward, but just keep fighting, and just keep pushing. Want to take a break before putting your arms down? Just flip them over. It's a little easier. That'll keep your arms out there. Otherwise, back into it. If you just can't hold it, you can let them down and then back up. All right. Next move is horse stance weighted punch. So we're going to drop our level. Light weights again. Go down. And do that horse stance. Down low. Back up. Weights here like you're fighting, and just punching them out. Done. These are really gonna burn. If you feel yourself starting to come up, take that break, shake it out, drop it down, punch it out again. Start on the shoulders, elbows out, straight up, and alternate.
Alright, kettlebell, swing and switch. So if you don't have a kettlebell, just use a dumbbell. I'm going to drop it level, swing it up there, catch it with the other arm, control it down. Don't miss the ball or the weight tossing around. Nice and firm here. Up, catch, control. When you catch that weight, you have to tighten your core, tighten your muscles, and stop gravity from pulling it down. Alright, last move for the block. We're almost done. We're going to do bicycle crunch. So pretty self-explanatory here. Just get down and do as many crunches as you can. Arms behind your head. Feet up. Elbow to knee. Opposite knee. All right, that's your last block. We got one more move left. Finish out our day. Take a quick second here. Let's finish this thing out. All right, two dumbbells. We're going to do full mayo makers. This is a multi-muscle movement. A lot of stuff that we've done. We're going to put it all into basically one big move here. All right. You start standing. Weights here. Go down into a burpee. Now I want you to press the weights down and step out or kick out. Doesn't matter. So now here, if you don't feel strong or confident, step out. That's fine. You're gonna do a push up, a pull, or a pull, then a push up, then a pull. So I pull up one weight, push up, pull up the other weight here. Now again, try to keep your level flat and stable. I'm not turning the pull. And then you're gonna jump in, stand. Now. I'm under the weight. I don't stand from here. I stand from here. I'm going to pull up for a clean and press. Clean and press. That's one. Got four more to do. Down. Plant. Kick out. Widen your base a little bit. Pull. Push up. Pull. Jump in. Stand. Clean. Press. Two. Three, two more. Four, last one. Dig deep, finish it out. And five. Whew. Good job. Hopefully you powered through. Again, tough stuff. Early on in your workouts, just fight and move. Can't even talk. The moves are going to feel clunky and goofy. Just continue to do them with the proper form. And you'll get them down and they'll be a lot smoother, a lot easier to do the moves. And then you can start adding the weight. I know it's early on. Keep fighting. Probably sore. Just keep showing up. Keep doing it. Thank you for working out with us. And please, Post comments, videos. I like to see the post workout videos of someone laying on the floor covered in a puddle of sweat showing me they did their workout. That's how you should be. Completely burnt. Good job.